ओके हाय एवरीवन सो दिस इज डॉक्टर आदित्य उड़प्पा सो मेनी वांटेड टू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एथ एडिशन मेडिसिन हैरिसन एंड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एडिशन मेडिसिन हैरिसन सो फॉर ए समरी आई थॉट आई वुड कन आई विल आई वुड कंपेयर बिटवीन दीज टू सो आई स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दी पार्ट वन टूडे वी विल जस्ट कंपेयर दी पार्ट वन ऑफ हैरिसन ट्वेंटी एथ एंड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एडिशन पार्ट वन इज द प्रोफेशन ऑफ मेडिसिन द चैप्टर वन इज प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन it is uh, almost same there is there are few like you can see easily that there is some covid 19 covid 19 part is there and so one of the images is removed and something else uh, another image is has been incorporated but otherwise the pa- chapter 1 is uh, almost same and uh, chapter 2 is promoting good health both are promoting good health in chapter 2 the main difference is the are the two tables in the table if the recommendations from the dietary guidelines of americans it was uh, in the previous edition 20th edition it was 2015 to 20 now it is 2020 to 25 and there are much differences in the healthy eating pattern limits and also the core elements that make up the healthy dietary pattern so these are all differences that are there you have to go through this uh, uh, table 2.1 in the uh, new edition which comes under the uh, comes in the page number of 10 and also obviously i will just incorporate what is going on what is the difference between the editions and uh, the mcqs will be posted in the cardiology for exams uh, app as a test you can attempt the test in the weekends in the previous in the coming weekends so i will just uh, uh, give the mcq mcqs of the only changes that have been made in the 24 20th to 21st edition so uh, similarly there is another uh, table here this also has incorporated another one uh, there is 3 to 5 years has been uh, added in the table other than that everything else appears to be same so third chapter is a new chapter it's very important it's a new chapter vaccine opposition and hesitancy because covid era has already uh, is going on and come to an end but vaccine is what is very important for the covid so this vaccine op- opposition and hesitancy is a very new chapter there is no there was no comparable chapter in the previous edition so go through this these flow charts and all are very good and you have to go through this chapter i will make mcqs of this uh, chapter and i will post in the uh, app after that is the same as the decision making and uh, clinical medicine uh, it is also similar but only one somewhere it is given that covid 19 example is given because here you can see uh, earlier it was like cad was the example and here they have given uh, covid 19 as an example i will uh, just mark there otherwise the whole chapter is similar to the what is there in the previous uh, decision making same things same things go on okay evidence based medicine so here sources of evidence clinical trials and registries and so one of the important difference is that in the previous uh, book there were like uh, selected trials the the flow chart was there if you can remember there was a tab uh, tabular column showing that concrete library journal club medline these were there but here it has been removed this this that that thing is not there in the new edition rather than that there is direct evidence of sources of evidence clinical trials and registries in that uh, mention of covid 19 is also there you can go through that in the page number of 28 uh, other than that everything else appears similar the fifth chapter is uh, precision medicine and clinical care which is not there in the 20th edition of harrison precision care precision medicine is more like individualization of therapy so similarly there are few very good tables here this is one is very important table convergence and divergence phenotype you can see that a is a convergence phenotype where hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and thrombotic myocardiopathy can be done, can be caused by many of the other formats and uh, second is a a uh, divergent phenotype where aortic stenosis can present in a different manner or antiphospholipid uh, antibody syndrome can present in a different manner so this chapter is a new chapter uh, as i told to the earlier one this is much more important the precision medicine you have to go through it next chapter is screening and prevention of diseases this chapter is same as the earlier one there are uh, not much to be added or much to be deleted everything is same uh, Yeah, the 2017 only incorporated both are 2017 incorporated and uh, 
Next chapter, they have changed the name as Global Diversity of Health System Financing and Delivery. Earlier, it used to be healthcare systems in developed countries. So, yes, there are some differences, but I don't feel much will difference will be made to our uh, actual exam purpose. But if you are going to practice uh, in the future and how is the health system in uh, India, then you would have to go because, uh, but not particularly about Indians, they have discussed, but about Asians, they have uh, India also they have given like low income de developing countries we are low income developing countries per capita health expenditure you can see that it is around 62 uh, better than Ethiopia and Nepal okay so next chapter is same the safety and quality of health care um, not big differences made here and there are some points may be there but uh, nothing more significant Next chapter is a new chapter, Diagnosis, Reducing Errors and Improving the Quality. There are some things which have been added from the National Registry and uh, few things which are very important, uh, new models for uh, conceptualizing diagnosis and this one. And uh, the whole chapter is new one, you have to go through these things and very important examples of don't miss diagnosis. This, these things you have to go because many times they will give only clinical scenario and these are all the pinches like they will give a clinical scenario of meningitis and you should not miss meningitis so this this tab tabla column you have to go through and you have to go through the different presentations of the same disease this this tabla column all the diseases you should mug up or you should know uh, at least five to six clinical scenarios of this tab tabla column similarly uh, ge the generic types of diagnosis midfalls these pitfalls you have to go through because these are all the mistakes you will do in the examination and similarly the questions will be framed also these are all clinical based questions they, they will pick up from the clinical based questions i don't think that this session will be having a uh, like a word to word or sentence to sentence question from harrison but these are all the differences you should know and you should know how to uh, tackle the questions which will be asked in the exams so next chapter racial and ethnic uh, disparities in healthcare actually this is the 10th chapter in the 21st edition but it was 7th chapter in earlier and obviously there are some differences you have to go through this whole chapter i will make the mcqs and uh, uh, post you in the app the weekend section uh, you can uh, attempt in that one or in uh, medicine for uh, uh, medicine for needles as a course also i will add you can attempt there also so that you will know where you have missed the changes there and ethical issues in clinical medicine is same There are some few here and there like you can see allocation of resources again there is some 2019 to 20 so COVID-19 pandemic some wherever there is there the pandemic issues will come they will be highlighting the pandemic issues. And ethical issues in clinical research medical errors they are all there. This is the new one after this actually physical impairment in 20th edition ends at physical impairment only 21st edition they have added this ethical issues in clinical research this is the new one being added emerging technologies is new and uh, global considerations still this crispr cas9 are promising these are all new in the uh, recent edition the page number is 72 so you would have to read 71 and 72 again in the recent edition of the chapter 11 and now is the palliative care, palliative and uh, end of life uh, care, not much differences similar to the earlier one. There was one paragraph which is extra, I will just go through that paragraph. Other than that these are all the same. See the pain also, the frequency, everything, the percentage also has not been changed, everything is same. Only thing is that in interventions, uh, if non-opoid, the, uh, the last uh, of the traditional weak opioids paragraph, the next paragraph importantly the goal is to prevent patients from experiencing pain. This paragraph has been added in 78 page and this whole tab, tabular column or the figure, the terminal pain management flowchart, very important. It's been added in the page number 78 in the chapter of uh, 12 chapter, so palliative. This, this uh, one paragraph and uh, one uh, figure has been added extra. All others are same, the percentage, everything is same. There is no change in Asia is same, vomiting is same, their intervention is same. So even the dosage, everything is same. Only one paragraph and one tabular column or figure has been added in the 12th chapter. And uh, this uh, gets you into the 
end of the most probably part so end of the part 1 so i will be discussing about the pain and uh, the part section uh, part 2 part 2 that is cardinal manifestations of and presentation of diseases in the next video uh, till then please do log into my groups in the telegram group and also in cardiology for exams app you can download it from uh, uh, play store or uh, for the ios and ipad you can uh, download class plus app and add cfes r code for ios and ipad and also you can attempt the tests and you can see the videos of the app in the web by putting as web.classplusapp.com and add cfes r code till then bye